This video covers the basic operation and maintenance of Kohler diesel and gaseous fuels generator sets with the DEC 3000 and 550 controllers. The first segment covers a Kohler diesel generator fitted with a DEC 3000 controller. The red button on the controller is for emergency stop. If you need to shut down the generator for any reason, push the emergency stop button. The generator will shut down even if it is under load. There are four blue buttons to shut down and reset faults, auto button, local run button, overriding auto start, and alarm silence and lamp test. The lamp test button will illuminate all the LEDs and silence the alarm. Fault lights are red for shutdown and orange for warning. A dial is used to select menus, pushing the e-stop to simulate a fault. The display states shutdown with alarm and red fault light. Silence alarm. Pull out the e-stop and press reset button. Press the auto button to return to auto. In normal mode, the display scrolls through a loop, giving basic information. The dial is used to obtain specific information. First, press the dial to review various menus and turn to review the specifics of the menu. Note the operator reviewing various menus. To exit this menu, push the dial. Three menus are used the most, generator metering, engine metering, and engine output. Other menus are mainly for programming. That covers the principal functions of the DEC 3000 controller. Now note the generator breaker. This breaker should be in the on position at all times. If it's off, no power is provided to the load. A battery float charger keeps the battery charged when the set is stationary. It is connected to a receptacle located below. One or more lights are always lit. See the legend for description. The dipstick indicates oil fill level. Note the oil fill location. A drain valve is located at the base of the enclosure. Check the oil filter. Drain any water that has accumulated in the bottom of this filter indicator. Keep the air filter free of debris. Note the crankcase breather and hose. Note the fuel fill and gauge. For easy starting, the engine block heater keeps the engine at 120 degrees Fahrenheit at all times. On inspection, put your hands on the heater or engine block to ensure they are warm. Also check for any kind of leaks on the other side of the unit. Note the charging alternator. The belts and tensioner are behind a guard. Note the fan guard. The fan shroud covers the fan drawing air in over the engine to the radiator. Check for leaks and tightness of hose fittings. Remove the radiator cap only once it is cool. Some enclosures also have sound attenuation. There are locks on the doors and a space for an additional padlock to be fitted. All the doors have air intake sections located at the bottom of the door. The air is drawn from the bottom of the door, exiting through the top of the door. The air is then drawn through the radiator and will exit out of the top at the front of the generator enclosure. Note the position of the battery. Ensure there is no corrosion at the terminals and the connections stay tight. Note the radiator drain valve. The hose is connected to a drain plug as indicated. Check that the engine coolant is above the coolant sensor. The coolant level has to stay between the tolerance level indicated. Ensure that the rain cap is free and can open and close as the set runs. Switch the breaker to the on position before start. This completes operational maintenance guidelines for the Kohler diesel fuel generator set. The next section of the video details operation and maintenance of a Kohler gas fuel generator set fitted with a DEC 3000 controller. The operation of the 3000 controller with gas fuel sets is exactly as shown for the diesel sets, the only difference being gas fuel pressure instead of diesel fuel level. As per diesel sets, note oil dipstick, fill level and block heater positions for gaseous engines and make appropriate checks. 
Note the position of battery charger on gaseous fuel generator sets and check as per diesel. There are two fuel valves on the engines. The fuel connection inlet point is located on the valve. Fuel valve number two is located above the engine for redundancy. The mixer for adjusting the fuel is also located above the gas engine. The engine fuse box is located above the gas engine and controls everything related to the engine. Note the position of start, battery and charger, a check as described for diesel sets. Note door latches and air intake as described for diesel sets. This gaseous sets enclosure is sound attenuated, but follow the checks for doors, radiator, oil drain and oil filters as indicated for diesels. This completes operational maintenance guidelines for the Kohler gas fuel generator sets. Some models are fitted with a DEC 550 controller, which the final segment of the video covers. This is a DEC 550 controller. The E-stop button operates like the 3000 controller. The selector switch has three positions, auto, off reset, and run. Note the LEDs indicating the generator and program mode. When everything is operational, there should be a system-ready green light on. If the generator is taken out of the auto position, a red light warning for not in auto will be lit. For a system warning, an orange LED light will be lit. For a system shutdown, a red LED light would be lit. To simulate an emergency stop, push the e-stop button in. This will light up the red system shutdown LED. An audible alarm will be triggered. The display will indicate emergency stop. To reset a fault, in this case emergency stop, pull out the e-stop and turn the controller switch to the off reset position and then move it back to the auto position. Press the alarm off button to reset the default. The buttons on the side of the controller control the functions. Currently, a low temperature alarm is displayed, but if the unit were in auto, the display would say system ready, and the green LED light on system ready would be lit. The controller menu buttons are explained in the operating guide explaining what the different menus do. The three major menus to use are menu number one, generator monitoring, menu number two, engine monitoring, and menu number four, operational records. For example, if we press the reset menu button on the controller, the display will say enter menu one through 14. To determine how many hours are on the generator, as indicated in the operating guide, we would press menu four and press the enter button to go to operational records, and operational record will be shown on the display. Using the down arrow, scroll down to view the factory test date and total run time. Press the reset button to return to the enter menu display. To run the unit locally, switch from the auto position to the run position and the generator will start locally. There is a lamp test button. It would light up all the LEDs. Only a trained generator technician should work on a Kohler generator set and before working on the generator, the operational manual should be consulted. Please contact your nearest Kohler distributor or dealer for further information.